They're watching 1700. I'm here with Chris from Dashboard. Chris, thanks so much for taking the time to have a chat with us. I wouldn't miss it. Oh, that's very nice here. Thank you very much. Um, look, I mean, Swiss Army Romance, it's, um, it's been re-released. Were you still teaching when that first came out back in 2000? I, actually, yeah, I was, come to think of it. I know I wrote a lot of that stuff in like my off hours uh, in my office. Um, but yeah, it did come out while I was while I was still teaching. You were a preschool teacher. I was a preschool teacher, but most of the day I was just like, I, I ran the after school program, K through five. So I had this big gap between when school ended and then when the after school thing program started and was also homeless. So I had a spot to stay in with a guitar in it. So it worked out pretty nicely. Do you ever think that when you're on stage, there are people in the audience that are going, that was, that was my homeroom teacher, or that, that was my after school care teacher? I don't think they're old enough quite yet, but I think, I think when, it will be a trip when, they're, when they are, uh, when they say, they Mr. The Mr. Chris or whatever. You know. Okay, what was it like going back and revisiting that album again for the re-release? Well, you know, I had cycled some of those songs out of the live, um, the live show because they maybe they don't lend themselves to like live moments you know they're a little maybe a bit a bit tender a bit quiet or what have you um it was kind of liberating to to be able to have license to play that stuff again and um a lot of the songs had uh, as songs will do you know after over years of of, of performing them 100 times a, 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 a the year and you know never listening to their records because why would you you know they, they just take a different shape you know very naturally and you think that's the way they went and I was really surprised when I went back and found like maybe they were different keys and different structures, definitely different tempos. And it was pretty exciting to like, it was like getting a new record all over again because they changed so much to put it all the way back was a trick. Yeah, because uh, yeah, you've grown so much from that point. Did you, when you were listening to it, just go, I can't believe that that was... Dude, Bush is on right now. <laughs> Sorry, got excited. <laughs> we're going to go, we're going to go. <laughs> um, did you go, oh my God, that's an entirely new, I'm an entirely new Chris now from where I was back then. Yeah, aren't we all? You know, I think that's just a, a, a matter of um, what life does to you. But uh, it was it was striking to see like the different outlook I really did have. Um, I'm not sure how different, but different indeed. And, um, you know, when you play those songs, I, I bet you if you ask any songwriter, when they play the songs every night, sometimes, not every time, but sometimes you're brought right back to that original moment. Um, but after so many years, the moment is, I don't know, it's just like, it's like through that filter, that lens of looking backwards, it's, it's, it's hazy, but it was interesting to find my way back there through that maze. Yeah. All right, so how's Soundwave going in, in general? It's been a pretty oh, awesome ride for you so Yeah, far. it's been amazing. It's been so much fun. I met, met all these uh, bands that I, you know, we're, a lot of the bands on this tour, we're already friends. We've mm -hmm. toured so much, but I've met a lot of guys, like I just was chatting with the guys in Trivium and, you know, people don't think I like heavy music, but also, a lot of people that like heavy music like what I do, exactly, which people would be yeah. surprised about. But, you know, I don't know any music fans that are just, I really don't know any music fans that just like one thing, you know? And I certainly don't know any musicians that just like one thing. I mean, you've gone back and you started doing, you've started doing solo again. Yeah. Um, because that's what you started with, doing Dashboard. Yeah. It's a pretty ballsy move to go from sort of having your band going straight back to solo. How's it, how do you feel it's been going so far? I mean, are you loving uh, it? Yeah, I've, I've loved it. I mean, I miss my bandmates and I, we look forward to playing a bit more. Um, and we have plans on the books right now to play as a band. But um, the, tr the truth is, it's a lot harder and scarier to do it on your own. And I felt like I was hiding behind my band for a while. Okay. And I thought it was time to take the, the, uh, the pads off. Okay. How do you prepare for doing a solo show in comparison to a, a band backing you? Well, how do I usually plan for it? No, I don't plan for it. That's the beauty of it. I think that's the stark difference between a band show and a solo show. Uh, for example, I played a sideshow in Melbourne the other night and I had my set list on the stage. I, don't, I think I played three songs from the <laughs> set list because without having to discuss with anybody else on yeah. stage, I can just say yes to whoever wants whatever song that is and yeah. just go into it. Okay, so. so you check out the vibe and then you actually just take requests from the people there. Yeah, festivals are a bit different. You can't ever hear what they're saying, no, you know? that's true. They just scream in mass, rah! You know? <laughs> they're all saying something. And I nod, like, yes. <laughs> that's exactly what I'm gonna play. And then I play whatever I was okay, gonna so play. so the solo anyway. shows are far more intimate in terms of actually connecting with the bands. And yeah, but, the, but the, these festival shows are far more visceral, you know, like you just that wave of, of energy just over, overtakes you. Oh, well, thanks so much for having a chat to us today, Chris. Absolutely. It's been an absolute pleasure. My pleasure. You're watching 1700, we're live at Soundwave.